the f was that? I have no idea. Hello? This is Yasko. Who is this? I found this phone. Do you want it back? Just tell me where to drop it off. I'll bring it back. I promise. Okay. You can't just text me like the street address or anything? Tell you, it sounds like someone's walking in there. It does. Is anybody in there? What the hell? No way. Van, nothing on it. And, um... It's the van that gives people candy. The free candy, yeah, yeah. So we're sitting here, we're not thinking anything of it, and you see a flash go off inside the van. So we're just documenting this on the off chance that something, you know. Bro. What is it? It's a picture of me. And you. You Wait. recording me. Bro, the f***ing white van! Dude! The white van! Remember I told you I yeah, saw a flash yeah, go Yeah, yeah, That's exactly what I was thinking of. And they just drove off after. Yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video down here in Florida where we're using Rando Nautica to basically get ourselves in some crazy, crazy shit. And if you haven't watched part one, I highly suggest you watch that before you watch this video because it was one of the most insane videos I've ever taken part of. And after we found out where we were exactly, it's even crazier. I mean, for starters, we were brought to this massive abandoned mansion and Angelo did some research when we got back to the hotel and found out that it was actually Osama Bin Laden's family's mansion that Osama purchased himself and did things through. Hence, you know, it was abandoned because obviously you know the history of everything that happened. Uh, yeah, we were brought there mm -hmm. and uh, people showed up within literally, what, 20 minutes of us Yeah, we weren't there very long. Had to make a run for it. And other than that, we found this phone, a very, you know, the new iPhone. Yeah. And this phone's pretty important because there were pictures of Angelo's car on here from the resort. So, I actually yeah. forgot about that and for for a second I thought you were going to say Angelo something else was on there. I was going to say, what? Just think about what it. Who are you sharing that to? What? Nothing. Nothing. Um, okay, go on. So yeah, we're going to turn this back on and see what else is on here. So I'm going to quickly tell you guys, before we continue, please go watch part one before we watch this or else... Some of the stuff will not make sense. And um, if you are excited for this video and series, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Let's continue. I feel safe here because we're in front of a bank. Mm -hmm. And it's like, this and the police station is probably the two best places to be. Yeah, probably. Probably. Well, there was a dark alleyway down there. We could go down there if you we want. We should, definitely. <laughs> After the last couple of things that have happened, yeah, it's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, it's we just got threatened at the park. You'll probably see that after this. Um, pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. What did they say about black cats like crossing our path? Is that good luck or bad luck? I don't know why. Yeah, it's just right there. It's past <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Uh, yeah. Bro? Yeah. What is what's text happening message, right text now? message, text message. What the hell? J.G. It's J.G again. So. They, this phone was receiving so many weird, like, videos and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead to the text message section. Yeah, look at some of the text messages sent. You'll pay for what you've done, mark my words. I know your secrets. I'm not afraid to use them against you. I'm watching you, and I won't rest until justice is served. Oh. How? What? Well, this phone's been on for, like, over 24 hours. Wait, yeah. is it? It's ringing? Yes. Uh, what is this ringtone? Uh, I don't know, man. It sounds like really familiar. Hello? Hello? This is Yasko. Who is this? I found this phone. Do you want it back? Just tell me where to drop it off. I'll bring it back. I promise. We didn't look through it or anything. Okay, you can't just text me like the street address or anything? Okay. I'll text you, okay. You, wait, he's gonna text you where to bring it? Yeah. 
I don't know, but like the other text message threads, I'm watching you, I won't rest until justice is served, blah, blah, blah. You're a dead man. What is going on right now? So this? now I'm curious as, bro, attachments. Oh God. Please don't be anything bad. This was all today. So the last thing that we saw was the truck outside of the condo yeah. in IA. Then there was untitled, un these are videos. Mm. Drop off point Orlando, hint. The street, it says in quotations, mm -hmm. the streets are crowded here, but no one lives here. You have 24 hours. Drop off point Orlando. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Is that the Domino's? Let's go bring it to the Domino's over there. What? Domino's? I'm, I mean, I'm, thinking, I'm totally down for Domino's, but. I'm thinking we literally just put this somewhere mm -hmm. and text the exact coordinates of where this phone is. And wait. And being like, come get your phone. That might thing. might be a good idea. So they sent three videos. All right. Are we doing this? I guess so. Wait, hold on. Turn this way. Because the car's... Yeah, broke. it's really annoying. What? Is it plain? Yeah. All I hear is like, really? Oh, they're zooming in on somebody. Oh. Hold on. I'm going to... Just listen to that breathing. This is so like, I'm telling you. Remember when I told you last night the the videos on this thing were familiar to me? Yeah. Bro, okay, so I zoomed in on somebody. Like in a forest. Okay, that's the first video. There's two more. Looks like an abandoned building. What the shit? What happened? It just opened up the camera. Wow, this thing is awful. Give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to... This is the most complex flip phone I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, for real. Look, it's legit like an abandoned building. Mm. There's like pallets everywhere. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, guys. It's not bad. It just looks like they're like in an old here. factory or something. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. Lights are flickering. Hard to focus right on the actual screen, but there you go. It's a little better. What is happening? Just lights are flickering and it's like, that's horrifying. I don't like that. Oh, that's like, and that's it for the video. Dude, that's like everybody's worst nightmare right there. <laughs> Yo, if I was working somewhere right? like that, and that happened. Dude. Two week notice. Actually, yeah. two hour notice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Here we go. Last video. They sent to them. They seem like they're in distress. Yeah, it looks almost like they're trying to get away from oh. something. Yeah, literally. Is this like the back rooms? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember hearing about those. I think it's just a meme. I don't know what's going on here. I don't... Yeah, I don't... Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, this person's definitely running from something. Yeah. And that's it. Believe it or not, I heard about the back rooms from a six-year-old. Yeah, it's like a meme thing. Yeah. Right? This is something different, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that number keeps calling. So what I'm thinking... Well, they didn't text us the coordinates, bro. They just sent us that hint. A hint? Remember what it said. Hold on. I'm going to read it one more time. Yeah. The streets are crowded here, but no one lives here. What? A ghost town. Has to be a ghost town. Yeah, I guess The streets... So. There's one... No one lives here. That's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> are there any ghost towns around here? In Florida, I don't know, but... I'm not sure. I, we, I was just in Nevada with my brother. There's ghost towns everywhere. Yeah. The only ghost town I've driven through, it wasn't even really a ghost town. It was kind of just like, remember when, like those spots we'd find yeah. in Texas? Mm -hmm. Like they're not complete ghost towns. There's just a lot of like closed businesses. Something like that. Haven't really found but anything like, else yet. I just want to reiterate to you guys. It is 1.36 in the morning. Yes. We just turned this phone on after being off for God knows how long, over 24 hours. And we get a phone call within a minute. So that means they know that this phone... So for the time being, once again, I'm going to take out the battery. Yeah. 
and um, well, there's obviously a tracker on that thing. Well, well like remember that, that my device or whatever Dude. the heck that thing was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a. Uh, there's the Ada Cardano. Yeah. And then there's where am I? Yeah. And I'm not clicking that. Yeah. So it's cause... like maybe using that they can see when the phone is on or off. I'm thinking that too. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Well, battery's out again, and we're gonna keep it that way until we decide what to do. Mm -hmm. Once again, a couple options I'm thinking we do that thing where we text and leave the phone. Yeah. Or two, we just dispose the phone electrically, like electrically dispose of it, like right before we leave back for home. Yeah. Call it. Like crush it. Is or, that what uh, we're doing? Like at Best Buy, they electric electronically recycle. So they destroy it. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. I do before. that all the time when shit like this happens. Yeah, it's probably uh, for the best. So yeah guys, get ready. Um, I'm assuming based on what happened in the last video, I'm assuming that this video is probably gonna be I mean I don't think we'll find another Osama bin Laden mansion. No. Actually I don't want to, regardless. But I'm sure whatever's in store for this video is going to be insane. So make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you have not already. Go watch Angelo's version of the series as well because we will be both filming all the time. And which is the reason why we split up earlier, which was a bad idea. Mm. That's why I got threatened alone in the park. So, yeah. yeah. You guys will see that. See you guys soon. Peace. All right, so I just pulled up to my point. I'm sorry if it's a little loud, but I just got threatened in like the weirdest way ever. And now he's just standing there staring at me. So I texted the coordinates to Angelo and Frank, telling them to meet up with me, and they're they're literally right there. Uh, but the person who threatened me is straight ahead, right there, staring directly at us with like a blanket over their head. I mean, I promise you that's not like something. That's literally a person just standing there staring directly at us. But yet they're moving, you can tell. Okay, so once again, I'm sorry for the rain. I'm not mother nature. I can't make it stop, right? So I was just waiting in here because um, obviously the rain, I'm going to get soaked, right? So, uh, okay, so Angelo just texted me and said there's not just one person, there's four or five. Um, okay, he's, uh, I'm going to call him in a second. But So what happened was, person walks in front of my car and like I tried to keep my eyes down, just like kind of looking down because I want to avoid confrontation, especially like where I'm at. It's one o'clock in the morning. And I just want to avoid all confrontation, right? Person walks right in front of my car like this, and I'm like, okay, he's gone. I look up and I see him start coming back, and I'm like, oh my god, no. So I put my foot on the brake, and I have my other hand hovering over the prindle, and I'm like, all right, if I need to reverse out of here and then fly down the road, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, Angelus just said we should head out. So I crack my window open like this like literally just like a sliver. And I'm like, you good, man? And he's like, nah, nah, you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I was like, what's going on? And he's like, what the f you say? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, when I walked by, what'd you say? And I was like, I didn't say anything. I'm just sitting here literally minding my own business. He goes, yeah, you better mind your own business to keep it that way. And I was like, okay, man, sounds good. Have a good night. And he goes, don't f talk to me like that. And I was like, all right, man, have a good night. And then like he starts like like crunching up his fists and doing all this shit and I'm I'm like okay and I just roll up my window. He starts walking back down there and I guess there really might be more than one person. Let me give Angelo a phone call. The problem is like this is literally literally our point. So or my point that is. I don't know, this is a weird one, to say the least. Yo, you said you see more than one? Oh, I can't see because there's this massive tree in my way. Oh, okay, well, they were all in the placebo. Sorry, placebo. Placebo. Now there's like one or two of them sitting here at the picnic table, and then. But yeah, I saw a whole bunch of them like moving around towards the left. Where that is. Yeah, yeah, the other placebo. Oh yeah, I see him. I see him actually. Yeah. Not, not that you mention it. Yeah, there's like at least four or five of them. They're at the other one. Okay. Um. All we got is one night, so. <laughs> you're right. Listen, my point isn't here, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna be honest. No. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. 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 I'
Um, I'll generate a new one then. I'm just, I was gonna say though, imagine I did find something. It's like, oh shit, there's the people right there. Especially after I got threatened. It's kind of like, right? it's just weird behavior. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's very, uh, like, free. people have told us that too. They're like, oh, be. Bro, staring directly at us with like a blanket over his head. Yeah. Which. The guy who came around and like said something to me, um, like I get the blanket thing. That's the, that's the guy who went back and like put the blanket over him. But he was wearing like oh, okay. Jordan fours, like newer ones that are like a hundred and probably over two hundred dollars actually. And okay. like, <laughs> but he was dressed like nice, right? And um, yeah. definitely had something like in his pocket though. And like I, I had my hand hovering over my prindle and my my foot on the brake because I was like, yo, if I have to reverse and fly out of here, I'm gonna. Um, yeah. Well, all right, yo, I'm gonna generate a new point then, and let's head out of here. Okay. All right, bro. Yeah. I'll see you in a sec. Let's go. All right. Peace. Yo, this is. I think we should just stay together. We tried splitting up to get more content for you guys because it just hasn't been working out for us. But I think the smart thing to do right now is to just head out and uh yeah just be smart so see you guys at the next point oh bro i swear to god i just i just saw a flash they just took a picture of us all right none of that not skilled and put my seatbelt on with uh my teeth uh okay with all that being said guys i'll see you at the Next point, I'll follow Angela now. Peace. We just started recording because, uh, I'm gonna roll this window up actually. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about weird, right? So, a little bit. we're sitting here just getting ready to film, generating a point, and this van pulls up and they shut off all the lights in there. It's just like, let me show you real quick. It's genuinely just a white van, with nothing on it. And um, it's the van that gives people candy. The free candy, yeah, yeah. So we're sitting here, we're not thinking anything of it, and you see a flash go off inside the van. So we're just documenting this on the off chance that something, you know. But, um, yeah, I don't know, it's just freaky, man. Literally, there, it's not a company van. There's, like, no decal yeah, on the car. It's completely unmarked. It's just weird because, so what happened was, you'll, you'll have to see it on the vlog channel, but Angelo called me. I was at an amusement park having some, you know, relaxing or whatever. And Angelo calls me and he goes, yo, you need to come here now. Like something really weird is happening. Like you need a, like we need reinforcements. <laughs> me for reinforcements, by the way. <laughs> so I show up and I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. And we go down to this trail. We filmed all of it. It was insane. So that'll be over on the second channel. The thing is like, we just got back to the car. Frank's over there just chilling in uh, Angelo's car. And we're just sitting here like generating a point, generating a point, And then boom. So... Could be literally nothing. Yeah. I don't know. Also to point out that every time you were trying to generate a point, it kept saying too many random odds. Too many random odds, which is an absolute lie. Right? Like, like in this area, there's like, it's a small town. It's probably like 10 monthly users. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like if that. <laughs> if that. Probably mm -hmm. two. It's me and you. Well, um, mm -hmm. all right, guys. I guess we'll see you at the next point, wherever the hell it will take us. So, um, peace. So, how was your dolphin experience? It was all right. Yeah. Yeah, there was this one penguin. It was pissing me off. Like, no matter where I went, he would stare at me like an NPC. Like, <laughs> so funny. I gotta show you a picture. Like, you might not believe me, bro, but look at this. Everywhere I went, he would just size me up. Like, look at this. Look at that dude. <laughs> what? Bro, I had to take a picture. Oh my god, that's so funny. And I was, I was like, I love it. You got beef with me for what, bro? <laughs> Maybe uh, he just smells the riggies off of you or something. Could be, man. <laughs> uh, points down here. It says it's behind this fence. Okay. And we tried to go from the other side, and it's a gated community. Yeah, I was going to say. So it's not it's happening. Like, <laughs> that's not going to well, happen. Like I said, we're just going to keep trying. Yeah. It, there's so many points that hit, some that don't. So, yeah. I can't remember the intent for this. Oh. Uh, mm. Oh, my God. Tyler, what was your intent? Big shout out to Tyler, by the way. I don't remember, remember either. Shit. Yeah, we go through so many. Look at the moon. It's so creepy. I Not know. Creepy, like, it gives you that eerie feeling. It's crazy, like, how 
bright and clear it is down here most of the time. Yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah, when we were like first down here, like the first couple of days, it was like right there in the sky. It was massive. Yeah? Yeah. It looked like it was like right on top of us. Oh, weird. Oh, what the hell happened here? Yeah, somebody should probably fix that. Yeah. Oh, or until it's cult. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what it was. Tyler, thank you. Um, this is not a cult, though. No, that is a thing. Maybe you could hop this fence. Uh, but it just looks like a plane. Not, not like a plane, yeah. but like planes over here. Hey, yo. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. That's a house right there. The house. That it is. And I just shine my massive flashlight. Yep. Them. You showed them your torch. Cool. All right. Well, um, this is. Uh, oh, look. It's like old caution tape. Oh. That's pretty random. Someone say. Um. Oh, look. It's literally like. Okay. Oh, Bug went up my nose. Yeah. yeah, I don't really get bit. It's really they're like, weird. They're I, like swarming the light right now. <laughs> yeah, they always like land. They never bite me. Yeah. But they just always like going in my nostrils and... Yeah, you should see my legs after yesterday. We got just absolutely swarmed, yeah. decimated. We're a those. Bin Laden to us. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Just watch part one is all I'm saying. Um, Ayers... This is like soaked, dude. Um, Ayers Sarsparilla makes the weak strong. I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, makes the weak like strong, character. purifies the blood, improves the complexion. How fair she grows from day to day, she uses Ayers Saras Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Or smell that. Smell that. Ooh. That's Is this like a cigar box? Oh. Is that what I'm thinking? It might be. Ayers Saras Sure I think that fair. sounds Spanish. That's why it gave me the idea of like a Cuban cigar or something. Yeah, maybe, but I don't think Cuban. Yeah, do you get Cuban cigars here? In America? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think you guys can. We really? can in Canada, I but I don't think you guys get... I'm not sure. Crown Royale bag. Or Royal, I don't know how you pronounce it. From the, uh, the mother country right there. Ah! Ow. Why, why would you do this to yourself? I always jam my finger. <laughs> You're in the like just tightest spot. Prone to hurting yourself. That's what she said. Really. Yeah. Wasn't it like just yesterday that you like slammed your finger on something? No, was it, we were camping. Right. I tried to close the tent, and my finger got yeah, stuck in like the. Yeah. Closed your finger in the tent. <laughs> and that's all. No Crown for... Royal in there. Unfortunately not. Yeah. Could definitely go for some. I know. I was looking to get shit faced tonight, but guess not. Looks like we're just gonna have to stick to Josh Cabernet. What is that? I see the word Scientology. Great. Cult oh, is our intent. Fantastic. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Check Tyler. Appreciate you. I mean, we are in like the capital of Scientology, bro. We are? Not really. Well, it's in Clearwater, Florida. I don't know how far we are from Clearwater. Uh, that's like the. I don't think that's that far. Isn't that like maybe three hours? That was a gunshot? Something like a gunshot. That was back towards the car. Um, you see anything? Nope, just the cars. Okay. I don't know. That didn't sound like a very distant, distant, distant gunshot. No. I don't know. But yeah, uh, Clearwater, Florida. That's where like their headquarters is, like their biggest building. Okay, I did and not know that. Yeah, I was there before. Scientology owns like seventy-five percent of Clearwater, I think. Hmm. So let's read this. The man was a former member of the Church of Scientology, but he had become disillusioned with the organization, and he decided to leave. Despite his decision to distance himself from the group, he soon began to receive threatening messages directed at him and his family. He was deeply concerned for their safety and felt that he had no choice but to take action. He reached out to a human rights organization and shared his story with them. The organization helped him get in touch with other former Scientologists who experienced similar issues. Um, gotta be fucking kidding me, bro. What? So pages are ripped. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, the church found him and 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 what? <laughs> like, dude, this is happening far too often. Uh, 
Why don't you just leave us hanging like that? That's rude. So that's like all my viewers when I leave the videos on right. cliffhangers. Um. Okay. Just confirm that no one's at my car. I'm sick and tired of having car problems. Is there like an air conditioner here? Kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? I don't know what that is. I don't know. Maybe some kind of like building or something. Well, there's a placebo right there, but there's nothing at the placebo. Nothing. Literally nothing. Just a lot of moss. Yeah. Okay. Well, that happened. Um. So that that's it. It's literally it. I mean, cult. Let's go further, what maybe. What was that? What'd you hear this time? What'd you hear? Oh, there's something fell from a tree, or...? It sounded like something was kind of thrown. Screw you, mosquitoes. Bro, there's literally nothing, though. Okay, maybe something just fell from a tree. The apple doesn't far fall from the tree. Wait, what did you just know. say? I have no idea what I said. <laughs> far fall from the tree? I, I, just, just ignore me, bro. I have no idea. Okay. I don't know, bro. I'm getting, like, a really weird... What the fuck was that? Did someone just break into our windows, bro? That literally sound like glass. Dude, there's... What? Well, there's literally no one there. But it did not sound like glass shattering. It literally shit sounded like somebody shattered glass. I was gonna say, I have like a really weird feeling about like everything lately. Especially what we just experienced over on your channel and... Yeah. I think the vlog channel as well. Yeah. Um, maybe we should just get back to the car. I don't know, this area gives me... What, the caution tape? That's a little weird. It was like one small piece of caution tape, and that's it. It was weird. I don't know why, but for some reason, the phone. Something's... Have you checked the phone lately? Not since yesterday. The flip phone? You, you still have it, though, right? I so. I don't know why. My brain is just kind of like... Yeah, I do. You haven't turned it on since? No. Put the battery back in there, though, just so I don't lose it, but, like, you can see for yourself. Yeah. It's... Well, maybe turn it on and see if there's, like... Do I have to? I, I mean, you don't have to, but you're telling me you're not curious? There's also something moving over here. You hear that? There's a light coming towards me? Oh. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's, uh... <laughs> what is that? Don't... No. Angelo? Yeah? Just... Let's just smile and wave. Okay. Hello. Hello. That was interesting. Okay, maybe just riding through. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Interesting timing, to say the least. <laughs> Very interesting timing. Yeah. So stared at us when you right? <laughs> like you did a double take. Like like, yes, they got the box. <laughs> right? Yeah, dude, that's, like, that's been happening a lot to me lately. Oh, lady, I'll yeah. find something, and then as soon as I find it, there's, like, a car sitting in the same parking lot, and it just drives off moments yeah. later. We just did Angelo's point, and I swear to God, we witnessed a drug deal on camera. I, I don't know what that was all about. Something, ha really, something really weird happened. It, it was literally, like, 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. So last time we turned it on, we immediately got like phone calls. So I'm just hoping that doesn't happen. Okay. Well, the time just, I don't know if you saw that, it just went from 7 to 12.30. I was not paying attention. What the f- I don't even know what time it Text is right message. now. Is it Dude, actually 12.30 right now? There's no way, bro. That's so late. I know. My flight's in like four hours. Yeah, for real. It's 12.30, holy shit. Oh my gosh. Um. 1231. Okay, so what came through? Two text messages from J.G. Alright, J.G. Okay, we got a photo and we have an address. Okay. 6770 Lake Eleanor Drive, Orlando, Florida 32809. So are we going? Okay, so listen. This is. Time is not on our hands. I completely forgot about this, bro. 
Do you realize something? What? Last night we got the phone call. And look at the time when we got it. Drop mm -hmm. off point Orlando. Hint, the streets are crowded. No one lives here. You have 24 hours. That was at 1.29 in the morning. We have 24 hours. We just got this message. It is 12.30. It has almost been 24 hours. Okay. And then we got, there's a picture. Open. That's right, you had a mosquito. Bro. What is it? It's a picture of me and you. You mm -hmm. recording me. Bro, the f***ing white van. Dude. The white van. Remember I told you I yeah, saw a flash Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. And they just drove off after. Yeah. My question is why, though? I could not tell you. Why take If it's their phone, why didn't they just come take it? Right. I would have gladly been like, hey, here. Yeah, like, dude, it belongs to them. Like, if you want it back, just take it back. So they sent us this, the coordinates to this place, right? Mm -hmm. Or the location. Now, what's to say that this is out of my reach that I won't what be able to arrive in 24 hours? The guy on the bike now, we have to worry because our car is over there. Uh, Why would you hear? I don't know. Like a thump of some sort. Okay, hold on one sec. 6770 Lake Eleanor Drive. It is 29 minutes. Bro, we have to go now. If we want to get rid of this... I'm gonna turn your light on. Yeah, I'm trying to do that right now. I don't see nothing. What the hell was that? What the f was that? I have no idea. I mean, it could be the fact that I'm shining my light towards whatever building yeah, is on over there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Or it could be an animal. What the ever living shit? Um, okay, listen, bro. Twenty nine minute drive. What is it? Twenty nine thirty. I can't remember. But they said to drop it off twenty four hours from one twenty nine. We have less oh, than so an hour. Have to we have to go now. now. Yeah. If we like, listen, bro. My flight's in a couple hours. Yeah. I want to drop this off and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Dead serious. I think that's the last thing I'm gonna do before I leave. Yeah. Let's just get rid of it. Let's do it. Um. Should I take this shit with me? Bro, now I'm just freaked out right now because so many things are happening at once. Mm -hmm. The f guy right there. Right? Like, we need to be very careful when we go back over there. Yeah. Um. Look at that noise. Hear something again? Hear something like buzzing. It almost sounds like a drone. I don't think there is night vision drones. I, I don't think I don't so. Know. Where did the? I mean, I guess the guy's gone. The dude with the I just f***ing shined it. And he's sitting at the placebo. What dude? The dude from the bike. He's literally. Really? Sitting. Yes. Oh my god. Which maybe he's just taking a break. Maybe. Mm. I, oh, I just literally zoomed my shit on him, like. Like, like he was an ant and I was trying to yeah. magnify glass burn him. You literally just showed him your big torch. Oh, bro, please just get out of here, please. Yes. Can we go drop this off? Yeah, let's get this Frank's old... all nice and comfortable in the hotel room I right know, now. I know. He's a smart guy. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> let's get this over and done with. We're going? Yeah. We're doing this? All right, yeah, we're going? Yeah, let's do it. God knows where the hell this is, but it's 30 minutes away. I better not be late for my flight. Well, we'll try not to. Alright, see you guys once we get there, I guess. Peace. Alright guys, so I have to pop in really quick. We're about to head out because li we're on time, right? But um, we started heading back towards the car and we just like put the camera down and we're like, we're just gonna, whatever. Whoever was sitting at the placebo got up and then just started like speed walking away. Mm -hmm. And we were just like, it's just the timing of everything, bro. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Nothing is like adding up anymore. And it, it's getting to the point where, like, it's too coincidental. Like, for your point 20 minutes ago, for us to get there, and there's a car right outside the point, another car pulls up, and it literally looks like something crazy is happening. Yeah. So this next point we generate, that this happens, is uh, is crazy. I'm, I thought I heard somebody in that phone. Mm. Hmm. 
the... Is... You seen this? Yeah. That was interesting. Did we just experience Florida Man? <sighs> like, what the f I mean, wouldn't be the first Florida Man. I mean, have you driven in Miami? They're just nuts over there. But yeah, that let's, was... Uh, let's, let's, <laughs> that was... Uh, let's go. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys once we get to the address. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, so we just... Uh, we gotta go like now, bro. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. problem, it's 132. Uh, another problem, just text messages came through saying time's ticking. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's it's I think it's past the hour now. Okay, it just passed the hour by three there are twenty four hours by three minutes. Fuck. Now there's a bigger problem. I don't know if you saw the massive building on the left side. Yeah. Where the address is. It's a Scientology. Yeah, I, I kinda noticed that. I'm like we pulled up to it and we were like... I, I was like, I'm not parking the there. Fuck? I'm going to park across the street, walk over, probably just drop the phone off and get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay. Why are on the same page? <coughs> so the problem is, though, if they're telling us to send it to this address, mm -hmm. why are all these lights doing this? Like, I don't there? know. It doesn't make anything better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just get to the other side. Just cross now? Yeah. <sighs> Building, they should be closed, right? I would hope so. It's 1.32 or 33 in the morning now. There's a literal helicopter coming this way. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> oh my god. You know what's really weird though? So, you see how that one back window in the building is just lit up? Yeah. It's so oh. weird to me. I don't know. Yeah, that is odd. There's the one there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that could just be like a hallway light or something. Like the middle? I don't know. Could be. I mean, I hope so. Welcome to the Church of Scientology parking. Okay, so there's definitely someone here because there's a bunch of cars there, too. And they're white and black SUVs. Yeah. Of course they are. Go figure. I'm just trying, bro. Look in the back. It's a fucking white van. It's right back there, right oh, next to that. What? It's the white van, bro. I know. I can see it. I can see it like clear as day. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to freak out. I'm just. Okay. Okay. Another car coming too. And there's somebody behind us, so I'm just walking back. Mm -hmm. On the sidewalk, there's somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, don't mind us. Just uh, going for a midnight stroll. At the Scientology building. No biggie. No biggie. You know what's the craziest part about like everything full circle moment right now? Mm -hmm. The intent where you literally told me to check the phone yeah. was cult and oh, that wasn't yeah. supposed to be meant for this but it actually worked out anyways because that's just how randonautica is i'm just saying like it's just weird to me that there's white vans and things everywhere right now yeah Bro, I swear, I just saw a light come over there. Did you? Yeah. Chaz, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna text that number right now. Okay. Um. Well, how the hell do we text on this? I don't know. P-H... Is it T9 word or whatever? I think so. Phone... Space... Drop... Oh. This is making me really f nervous. Send, how do you send? Message sent. Go, 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 go. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Cool, cool. Just cross right here. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. A little late. Yeah, but uh, the question to me now is like, what if we didn't drop it off? You know, they say, yeah. Well, actually, they know our location. Yeah. That's the scary part. That's the very scary part. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just seeing people to the right of me around. Oh yeah. There's like two people walking there. Okay. Yo, can I see mm -hmm. that for a sec? Can I see that for a sec? I'm just gonna cut the light for a sec, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna nonchalantly keep on going. Bro, we are literally like surrounded right now. There's people. Is there? Where'd they go? Bro, I swear to god there's two people. I saw them. I saw them too. They were walking through the parking lot. Bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on. Did he pick it up? Bro, he... I think he did. He picked up the... He's going back to the building. Where did he even come from? He came from down there somewhere. Yeah, he picked up the phone. And he's going back to the... parking lot. Oh, can you hold that first? Yeah. Sorry. Um... Yeah, yeah, he's going all the way back. He's on it right now, he's looking. Oh, yeah. Well, our hands are clean, right? Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Let's just get out of here. Everything about this is making me so uneasy yeah. right now. Dude, he's literally like... Yeah, he's, he's going to the back of the building. Yeah, yeah he just... Oh, the... shit. Okay. Um... Don't like this. Nope. Don't like this at all. But you know what? It's not our problem anymore, right? Mm-hmm. Bro, I can't even remember where we found that damn thing. I... Where the heck were we? Oh, on that damn bridge the, on the... The boardwalk, yeah. The Amazon The, the snake board. egg thing, yeah. Bro, I'm telling you this was a setup. This was 110% <sighs> Oh, for The question is, like, why, though? I don't know. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Like... And then the, just the, how everything, just how like everything just happened is just too much for me. Right? Okay. Okay, uh, I guess we'll see you guys at the next point. I'm going to be real with you though. It's late right now and after everything, I don't think we should continue filming tonight. Uh, no, I'm like uh, kind of ready for bed to be honest. Yeah, alright. Uh, you guys, see, you'll see me in the next point. Uh, Probably back in New York. Yeah. Peace. <sighs> Alright guys. So I want to take a quick second to talk to you guys about a couple things. Now that was the end of the content from Florida. But I've been home for a while and I've been filming with Ben. And uh, we have a lot of crazy content. And I'm actually going to be putting about 10 minutes of the new content right after this little talking portion. So make sure you wait until this is... Or, or skip ahead, by all means, I don't mind. Uh, but I have some pretty important things to talk to you guys about. Um, the content that you're going to see in about a couple minutes uh, with Ben is really, really weird because we go from one cult to another. And it is the weirdest thing ever. Um, all I'm going to say is me and Ben decided to do some Raronautica in a ghost town uh, that someone recommended to us. And uh, it went horribly wrong. So stay tuned. So uh, yeah, like I said, that was the end of everything from Florida. Now, Florida was very interesting. Now, I was there for about six days and I didn't have the best luck in terms of content. I mean, I really only had two Randonautica videos, which is actually really bad for six days. That means that, I mean, I was filming all day, all night driving all over doing all this all that and i think it's crazy that i was out there for about six days and i haven't even got two hours of content from florida with rain i that's just crazy and we really spent all day all night filming like it's insane that's wow when you really put it like that that's crazy <laughs> oh my god um but yeah I, the stuff that we did experience don't get me wrong was very crazy um for starters the flip phone I'm really glad that it's out of our, you know, possession and it's no longer, you know, 
anywhere near us because of all the shit that was happening. But I really want to hear from you guys. What would you have done in that situation? Because I want to take a quick second and apologize for the way I was... For the way I was in this video, I'm going to be honest, I was not myself. I was very on edge. I swore a lot. I swore up a storm. So excuse my French. I'll do my best to edit it. It's currently like 4.30 in the morning. I'm editing this video at the moment. But apologies. Once again, it's just I've been so on edge lately and everything's just all over the place, right? And when you're getting these text messages, you're getting a picture of you sent, a picture of Angelo's car, this, that, like, it is very creepy. And a lot of things go through your mind, you know? So, and then when they tell you, you have until this time to drop this off, and then we get there late and we're like, oh, sh what's gonna happen, right? And we're at a Scientology building. For those who don't know what Scientology is, it is the biggest cult in the world. The world's biggest and most dangerous cult with the people who have the most money in the world. Like these people, horrifying you know and i always have that like idea in the back of my mind like bro what the hell is gonna happen when i upload these videos right like damn you know it's scary you i'm always constantly like every time i get like a notification on my security cameras i'm like gotta check this shit gotta make sure no one's outside you know like that kind of shit but it's it, it's it's worrisome it really is and you know like ever since angela and i have gotten home we've been getting all types of crazy text messages and phone calls and stuff like that we're doing our best to just ignore it and like just move on with our life but like we really are curious, what would you have done in that situation? Would you have went and dropped the phone off as well? Or would you just have disposed of the phone and called it a day, right? I don't know. And it's just really weird because um, a lot of the content that was on the phone, like the videos and stuff, I'm pretty sure that we've seen them before. If you guys have any idea where those videos are from, let me know because we're bamboozled. <laughs> or that's the only word I could really think of to explain all of this, but holy shit. Um... In part one, we were brought to Bin Laden's mansion, right? Bin Laden's abandoned mansion. Uh, he he purchased it for his family, and a lot of things happened there, right? And it went from owner to owner and this and that, but uh, a lot of crazy stuff happened there. Angelo said he went into the basement, and he found a ton of bones. Like, it was like a bucket full of bones, and it's like, what the hell is going on with that? You know what I mean? I'm bringing up the Bin Laden mansion because... We were there for not even 20 minutes and people arrived very, very quick. And it, it was it was odd. It felt like we were surrounded the entire time that we were in Florida, period. And we constantly changed hotels, changed resorts because like things would happen. I mean, the first night we get there, I mean, the first time we experienced something was when we found that phone. We were at a resort and all of our personal belongings are there. We find a phone with Angelo's car parked at that resort and we're like, what is going on our intent for that experience was men in black so now we're thinking holy shit this is going on that's going on like how do we deal with this right and and it's 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 just been one crazy crazy roller coaster of events honestly guys it's just been insane um but that that's it for florida it was i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you not the most eventful trip in terms of content but the content that we got was very eventful so it was nuts. Um, all I'm going to say is uh, once we got back home, things ramped up very, very quickly. Now, is this connected at all? I don't know. And I don't usually do this where I'm sitting down and talking to you guys about things. But the reason I am is because I just want you to pay attention to the next couple of videos. Because we have a lot of content coming up in these Rain Nautica videos that just don't make sense because it's too coincidental to what happened down in florida and it's hard talking to ben about it because ben did not go to with us to florida and ben's kind of like out of the loop of things but even ben agrees that things are kind of off and you'll see it in this next clip that you're about to watch uh it, it's it's wild uh so with all that being said guys i'm i don't want to keep blabbering um i want to get into this next clip for you guys but I do want to take just a quick moment and say thank you for all your support. Thank you for everything. If you enjoyed this Random Nautica series and you want more, make sure to smash that like button. We can make that happen for you guys. Um, you know, can't say it enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, take a look. All right, guys. So we just arrived to our next point. And um, so small problem. One, it absolutely smells like death. I tried approaching the building and I couldn't do it. I have a really weak stomach. 
Ben, on the other hand, he's much better with smells. Uh, he says he's willing to take it's one for the team. That get me. It's the sounds that get me. If someone starts to sound like they're gonna throw up, bro, I'll oh, it makes up. you throw up. Okay. Yeah, smells I'm usually okay with. Okay, so as long as I don't. But yeah, this is what we're uh, faced with right here. Yeah. So, Ben's gonna take one for the team because if you don't, if you see right there, the door is creaked open. Oh, I can see. I think it's the other one. Oh, that, oh really? I think it's the. I think pretty sure. I think, think I think that one looks locked, bro. I think it's the one. No, oh, that was wide open. Look. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! You're right. Which one were you looking at? I was looking at the one the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stay in the car right here and be like a lookout. So yeah, we're on a highway right now. Uh, so there's really nowhere to park. So I'm just gonna sit here for the time being and just be a lookout for you. And so that, I appreciate that, brother. Yeah. I do. Keep in mind what our intent is. Our mm -hmm. intent is something very. Very creepy. We'll tell you guys uh, once he... I'll put on screen once Ben gets in there, so... And then I'll see it when I get in there, and I'll be like, Oh, really? I can't... Oh, no. It'll just be, like, hovering in front of me. <laughs> like, trying to move it off the screen. Like, oh, something else, please. Something else. <laughs> so, all right, bro. Good luck. You got a flashlight? Yeah, I got, I got a couple. Right. Cool, cool. All, all right, right, brother. Good luck. Um, I'll need it, I think. Yeah, let me know how it... I can't. I gotta close this fucking window, bro. It, it literally smells... Horrid. It's past rotting. It's, like, a new smell. Yes. It's bad. All right. All right, brother. Good luck, man. Thank you. See ya. See ya. All right, guys. We are going in. We're going hot. We're going in quick. Uh, where's the door? It's there. Shit. We're going in quick and we're going in hot. What the hell is that? You guys hear that? I can't. I can't. Around. I gotta get in there. Okay, so this highway is very busy and I don't want to get caught climbing into here. So, uh, by the way, Look at that. Holy shit. What am I? Oh shit. Okay, this is not safe. Whoa. This is not safe. I'm gonna take a big step. Where are you going? And I didn't die. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. Wow. Oh, shut the door a little bit. One minute. Oh my god, there's tapes everywhere. So this isn't the first time that me and Jazz have done like a... Watch out thing. Um, it is kind of nice to know that you have someone out there that can kind of start a conversation. If police showed up, you know. They can kind of like... Smooth things over. God, this place must have been like a hoarder house or something. There's a lot of shit here. Okay. It's over here. Fuck. Meeting rules. A guide to effective meetings for leaders and participants. Stay on time. Review. Stick to the agenda. What is this? Uh, so a group used to meet here. A little creepy. A group that did what? The fuck? Okay, weird. Moving on. I don't know what this place was used for. But they held meetings here. Now, I think we're gonna try to. I think we're gonna try to solve the mystery, guys. So, some club slash gang slash posse slash. I don't know some weird, whatever. Weird shit happens in the middle of the woods. Like, we are deep, deep in uh, rural country. So, like, you can only imagine what kind of group would meet in rural country. It's either a hunting group or something I don't want to know about. There's dolls there. Oh, guys, it's the sound of music. These. Mm. 
no idea what the hell that is. Almost, almost like bubbles. Huh. Yo, these things are fucking creepy. I forgot what these dolls are called. Also, I'm not sure how good the floor is here. As you guys kind of saw when we walked in. Okay. This shit wasn't looking too hot. Is that a basement? Oh, hell no. What would they keep in a basement? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, bro. You gotta be fucking... Jazz has peeped. Oh shit, he's flashing his lights at me. We gotta go. Uh, mystery, we'll have to be starting another day, guys. I... I'm... I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm perplexed by this, bro. I, I have no idea what this is. What meeting was for leaders? That sounds like it might be a... Bed, bed. Oh shit, yeah? Bro. Uh, were you upstairs? Uh, I was going towards the basement. Oh, 